Uh, the third Masakroka piece was, is a work in progress by students on loan from students of the Great Boreal Massacre. Are you one of these students? The page is pretty faded, but it looks to be a Shakespeare-style scene between two or three people, and has scribblings that seem like it may be a draft of an unknown and unfinished sequel to Midsummer's or a different comedy. Proceed. So, a very, very recent discovery, in fact, of a piece which clearly descends from the School of the Boreal Master, but given its obvious ties to William Shakespeare, must have been created at a much later date. Even as, as the description here says, the students of the students of something like the Boreal Master. And, and so with the time allotted, I'll present a piece of an extant play written by the Boreal Master's uh, followers. At DCXXXII, scene one, stroke 120, 122,001. <laughs> I will also point out, for those of you who are not familiar with the works of the Boreal Master, that you are now peeking in through the window at something of a very, very inside joke. I encourage you to find Mistress Morgana, or Owen, or Kirian, or myself later to learn more if you like. To row or ne'er to go? There's no longer any bloody question. Weather grows colder on this bench I suffer. My socks and splinters in rowing's misfortune help not sore arms on this sea of torture. And by leaking and poking, leave me to cry, to weep. Hurrah, hurrah! Don't snore, though yet I weep, your life I'll end. This earache and a thousand poorly darned socks, this crew inherits? Tis a condemnation, most loudly to be bitched, to cry, to weep, to weep mayhap, to scream. Hurrah, hurrah, horror. Footnote one. On horror, fans, such as we may call them, of the Boreal Master, hotly debate this departure from the ubiquitous horror in this and other discovered works of that <coughs> artist. But it is in indisputable ru capital runes and underscored with flames in which the word is written Thus, horror. <clears throat> From Tucker, Grab, and Sheber, what the hell, guys? This again? <laughs> February 2021. <laughs> I, 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 my butt I rub. <laughs> Footnote two. The passage in the original rendered as, for that in sleep, laid out, or sorry, for that in sleep of death, laid out in frilly pink dress. That what screams my bum when it has shuffled cross this blooded boil. This passage must give us pause in respect of the calamity the translation often evokes. I, 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 my butt I rub, it is felt, more succinctly and accurately portrays the despair and pathos felt by the speaker in his complaints to an uncaring crew. <laughs> Mukherjee and Jonathan Snorgloid from More Things to Do with a Pandemic and a PhD, November 2020. <laughs> More of the plan will be ready as translation continues and my own research into the extant research does as well. Thank you.